Hi everybody. So this is a Walmart haul. Um, most of it is on clearance. There's only probably one thing that I didn't get on clearance. So let's get started. So I picked these two up. These are phone rings and desk stands. Now, um, let me hold them up closer so you can see. So that's how they work. They're kind of heavy. Um, I do like using um, these, well, right here. This is my phone. So I just upgraded to a Note 20 Ultra. Um, yeah, the Note 20 Ultra. And I like using these kind here with the loop, okay? But I also want to be able to have like the stand. I don't know if you can see that right there. So this one works out well, okay? Um, I do have another case that I had purchased when I um, upgraded my phone, but um, I was thinking of putting one of these possibly on the other case so that, you know, when I interchange, because I liked, I wanna be able to, um, you know, do my phone like that when I'm reading while I'm on lunch. I like to read the news. Um, so this one is at least wide enough for me to be able to hold it because I like to get a good grip on my phone since I, I paid, you know, for an unlocked phone. So <laughs> don't want my investment to go down the drain. Um, so yeah, these were, like I said, $2. I got the rose gold and the silver. Um, so I have a backup. Then I picked up because, you know, there wasn't really that big rush to buy school supplies since kids were still doing virtual. Um, my Walmart still have a ton of back to school stuff left. And I picked up these Fiskars uh, scissors because they were 75 cents each. The Fiskars are really good scissors. Um, and these are good for like, I have one at work and I always keep one everywhere so that I can always find scissors. So these are backups, basically. Not bad for 75 cents, you know? Um, you can never have too many scissors. That's my saying. Okay, then I found this at another Walmart that was on clearance. This was, um, this is the Happy Planner, but it's Merry and Bright. Um, that's the theme. And I like these colors over the other traditional ones because they're a little bit more muted. You can see I don't use happy planners. I hate the disc bound. Um, so I can use, still use this in my Hobonichi for next Christmas. Um, I have to go back to this other Walmart because they still have these left. Um, the binder pouches, which I use for storing my ephemera. These were ended up being 10 cents and they still had tons. So, um, my friend Clarissa wants some, so I'm gonna go back and get some. I'd already bought some for my friend Kat. Now, I picked this up because it was on clearance. This is the Exceed soft cover dotted um, notebook. 100 GSM heavyweight paper for three bucks. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or if I'm gonna give this to my friend Kat for her notes, Kat. Take your notes. So, um, the last, no, it's not the last thing. I also picked up this yarn, this beautiful um, green yarn. It's from Lion's Brand. This is the Mandala Ombre, and it's just gorgeous. It looks better this way. I like the different shades of, of green and turquoise there. And then the last two things that I purchased. So I gotta give these to my nieces because I forgot to give it to them. They never have enough Ken shoes. I don't know where their Ken doll shoes are going because they don't have as many Kens as they have Barbie. So I got another pack of these for them so their Kens aren't fighting over them. And then this one's for me. Now, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I am a doll collector. I've been a doll collector for more than, well, yeah, for 20 years now. And, um, Barbie has been stepping up their game. Now I'm not per se a strictly Barbie collector. Actually I'm not. Um, I do mostly Japanese fashion dolls. So, but you know, Mattel has been knocking it out of the park lately. And even with their fashionista line, I've been really impressed. Um, so that's why this Christmas I gave my nieces um, some new Barbies. And I wanted them to have a more ethnically diverse um, 
you know, crew of Barbies. So, but this one is mine because I've always had a thing for the African American Barbies. They're just beautiful to me. I mean, you know, and now they're putting out in different hairstyles and I don't know, this one, I just, I really liked her and I'm so annoyed when they freaking do that, stick them like that. And then it's like really hard to get out of the packaging, you know, so there we go. Okay. So I really liked her for her hair because her hair is awesome. Okay. And I look at her face the makeup too. She's beautiful. I liked her outfit and her little shoes. Look at her shoes. I don't know if you can see. She's got little um, pom-poms on them. Look at those heels. Okay. So yeah. Oh wow. No underwear. Okay. So anyways, not that that matters. Um, she's probably just going to, yes, I unbox my dolls. Um, she's probably just going to stay up there on my shelf with the other fashionistas that I've collected over the years. I don't have a lot, like I said, but when I spot one that I like, I go ahead and I grab them. So yeah, I'll just put this back in the box for now. But that is my haul. So I hope you guys are having a good week and hopefully it's not gonna rain this weekend for everybody, okay? All right, bye-bye.